Sunday morning in southern India, it's a day for cooking, feeding, and feasting. Mrs. Pauline Nagar is planning an elaborate Sunday lunch. Give me one kilo of tomatoes and a cauliflower, please. She's invited eight of her dearest friends to her house for an extra special treat, a local delicacy called kuti pie. So tasty, it's not just liked, it's loved. Kuti pie beats everything. So gruesome, it can turn your stomach. I've never eaten it, and frankly, I don't want to. So taboo, you may never get to taste it. Kuti pie is the fetus of any animal, in this case, a goat. Mrs. Nagar is hoping her guests will keep an open mind. But first, she has to find the main ingredient. It's sold at the local slaughterhouse. Kuti pies are never made to order. They're available only if a pregnant animal happens to be killed that day. Buying a kuti pie comes down to timing and luck. Kuti pie is in great demand. If you're a little late, you don't get the kuti pie. The slaughterhouse is no neighborhood butcher shop. Here, every part of the animal is sold as valuable food, even the leftovers. This is considered a spare part market. The main carcass is sent to the mutton shops, but the spare parts are sold here. There's no wastage whatsoever. Although selling and buying kuti pie is not illegal, the butchers don't want to be seen violating a taboo. It is the fetus, and so they don't like to show that it's being sold. Mrs. Nagar won't get her kuti pie as long as she's on camera, so she negotiates an alternate deal. They said to me, you go home, and we'll deliver the kuti pie in the house. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. The main dish has finally arrived. This is a very tiny kuti pie. We like to take it when it's a medium size so that there's sufficient flesh to eat. At the same time, you don't have the hair on it. At this party, everyone's well aware of what's on the table, and they're piling their plates carefully. What is this, mutton? Yes, yes. This is beef. Please don't take this. The guests get their first taste of kuti pie, and they've reached a verdict. Nice, nice. Very tender. It's so excellent, you know. Like a liver type of texture. Yes. Very creamy, I think. But not everybody has taken to the dish. Just mind over matter. I can't bring myself to have this dish. <laughs> Mrs. Nagar is not surprised by the mixed reaction. Until they to stop having kuti pie in the markets, I am going to enjoy preparing it and calling my friends. For me, the important thing in life is the freedom to enjoy everything.